TOEFL exam. So you're going to want to take some kind of suitcase that is not too big. Look for the specifications as to the size of the suitcase. You want something small and concise. So let's go ahead and start to pack our kit. There's certain things that you're going to need to take to the state board that are more above and beyond what's on the list that they give you. So I'm going to go through each of the bags as they're numbered. Bag number one is your paper goods and your sanitizer. In bag number one, you need one medium pump sanitizer. If it doesn't fit in the bag, you need to get a bigger bag. You need one small disinfectant spray with your Barberside Plus label. You need four paper towels folded individually. You need six uh, tissues folded individually. And you need one table cover. This again is in bag number one. Bag number two is going to be your towels. Uh, you will have three of your sanitized towels. You can put them all in one bag or you can put them in three separate bags. It's up to you. They will fit in your suitcase when you do three separate ones. In bag number three, you have your setup supplies. You have 12 iPads cut in half one buffant, one head drape, one sanic strip, and you have one client drape. And that's to drape your client with. Bag number three. Bag number four is actually your products. And in bag number four, you're going to have your makeup remover, your milky cleanser, your toner, you're going to have your massage uh, oil, and your moisturizer. In this tray, we keep it just so that they don't fall over. We've also put facial wipes, makeup removers in here just in case you run out of, of, um, of uh, product uh, to rinse. So these are just for emergencies. You really aren't going to be using them throughout the protocol. That was bag number four. Bag number five is labeled as your extraction kit. You have one pair of gloves, two four by four aesthetic wipes, one small biohazard bag with your red label, and two of the antiseptic foil wipes. Bag number five. Bag number six is for your tweezing and waxing hair removal kit. They're put in the same bag. So you have your soft wax, you have two sets of tweezers just in case you drop one, you have one cotton ring for your tweezing, one a small baby powder for your waxing, two pellon or muslin strips for your waxing, two small wax applicators. Um, you have one small after or post wax product. You have two pairs of gloves in case one rips or you one drops. You have your four antiseptic wipes. Two will be used in your tweezing and two will be used in your waxing. You have one small biohazard bag for your disposal and one small disposal cup to put your wax in. Once again, that's bag number six. In bag number seven, this is your mask kit. You have one mask in a small container. Make sure your mask has color. One small spatula to remove your mask. One mask brush to put your mask on with and one disposal cup to transfer your mask into. That is bag number seven. In bag number eight, this is your makeup kit. 
you have one foundation, make sure that you test the foundation on your mannequin prior to uh, going to your state board to make sure that there is not going to be a line of demarcation. You have one loose powder, one blush, one eye saddle, one pencil eyeliner, one mascara, one lip liner pencil, and one lip color. Bag number eight, that is your makeup kit. In bag number nine, you have your makeup implements, two brow brushes, you can use mascara wands if you like, two makeup sponges to apply your foundation, two disposable mascara wands, two powder br uh, brush, excuse me, one powder brush, four Q-tips, one pencil sharpener, three eyeshadow applicators, two lip brushes, disposable, and two medium spatulas, disposable stick size. This is bag number nine. In bag number 10, this is your biohazard bag or your first aid bag. You have uh, two antiseptic wipes. You have your two by two gauze. You have one pair of gloves, one, one band-aid, and one small bag with the red labeled biohazard. This is if you um, cut someone or you draw blood. Bag number 11 is labeled the miscellaneous. In this bag, you just basically fill it up with consumables just in case you run out, just in case you drop, just in case you break. You have paper towels, you have extra gloves, extra cotton rounds cut in half, extra tissue, extra Q-tips, extra spatulas, aesthetic wipes, sanic strips, and disposable cups. This is bag number 11, your miscellaneous bag. So that concludes what needs to be in your kit. You will also have a mannequin. Your mannequin, if possible, should have short hair. Does not need to have the shoulders, but if you have one, that's fine. You want to test that foundation on your mannequin. Your mannequin cannot have makeup already pre-done on the mannequin. You will be disqualified if it does. Make sure your mannequin is clean before you go. Make sure that you have wet the hair, combed it back, and put some gel on so that you're not fighting the hair or to shave the mannequin ball. You have a tray. This tray is going to be where you're going to put all of your bags. So in the tray, we're going to put the bags in numerical order. So we have bag number one. Bag number two is your towel, so they don't go in there. We have bag number three, which is our setup surprise. We have bag number four, which is our product. And I'll show you how we put the product in in just a moment. We have bag number five, which is our um, extraction kit. Make sure the numbers are facing you in the bags. We have bag number six, which is our tweezing and waxing kit for our hair removal. We have bag number seven, which is our mask kit. So this is um, for applying the mask. We have bag number eight, which is our makeup implements. We have bag number nine, Bag number eight is our makeup, bag number nine is our implements. We have bag number 10, which is our biohazard. And we have bag number 11. This tray will go into your suitcase as such, okay? 
Then you have your tray with your products that will lay along the side at the end. You have your three towels and you're going to fit them in to the suitcase. You have your mannequin and your mannequin will just kind of fit shut in there. And you have your last towel. So however you can fit it in there would be nice. Usually it goes under and then the head. And the very last thing that you're going to put in this kit is going to be your soil bag. Your soil bag should be a regular grocery bag with a liner taped inside so that way the wet items don't make a hole in your bag. And this is just going to lay right on top. Now you have every single thing that you need for your state board exam. You're going to close the bag. And now you're ready for your practical exam.